back to another one. Okay, so today, um, I actually just got this. I'm going to definitely be using this thing. Uh, this is the TP-Link 8 port gigabyte desktop switch. TLC, this is plug and play. Um, make sure you guys do check the description below because I will leave links to this stuff and I'm going to be testing this out. And yeah, so the specification says switching capabilities, uh, capacity 16 gigs, non-blocking, link account uh, LEDs per port, eight ports at 10, 100, and 1,000 megabytes per second. So it's great. This thing says traffic prioritization, green technology. Um, it's funny because the back, it says like what it's capable of. It says desktop, gaming console, NOS, and IPTV. Very, very cool. So this is not free IPTV. So just to let you guys know, let's come over here and look at it and see exactly what it is that you get. This thing is going to be super simple. Want to show you guys a quick unboxing of what it is. So here is your TP-Link 8 port gigabyte. Um, yeah, TP-Link has always had some great stuff. So let's check this one out. Make sure you guys do also check the description below for uh, I, uh, for a VPN service that I got in here. So here is your installation guide. It looks like it's very, very simple. Link account when it's green, power on and off. Um, so make sure you guys do read this if you need to. So this thing should be very, very simple. It should literally be a plug and play. So here is, you get a couple rubber stops. So if you need to put it on the thing here, that's fine. Here is your power. Now you're with your power. It doesn't feel premium and it doesn't feel, I don't know. It's almost like a between a budget and a cheapo. <laughs> so I hope I don't get sparks flying everywhere. And then here is the actual component itself. Now I will have to say this, this thing feels primo big time. And I mean, big time. So very, very cool. Now you do see, um, at least I hope you do see uh, on the screen here, some circles right there. And I hope that's a little bit better. You see the four different circles. That's where you could put these little rubber stops. So that way it doesn't slide around when you do put it on. So you could also mount it. So if you have any kind of things on the wall that you could mount it up, very easy. Now here it says uh, eight port gigabyte desktop switch. So you have all eight and it says link account here on the eighth one. So I think this is going to be where you put your modem at or you should be able to put it on number one. And that's why you have one of these guys to read it and see exactly what it says here. So best thing to do is just open this guy up what it is that you get. So for general specs, go ahead and pause the video now. That way you guys get a second to read it on your own. Pause the video there if you have to. And also I'm going to give you guys one more chance here. Pause the video if you have to, and then pause the video here if you have to. So right off the bat on page one, it says your, your router, your LAN should go to number one, and then you can connect your PC and everything else to whatever you want. So it looks like it's pretty simple. So your number one is going to be your where it's coming from your, modem, from your router. So your modem to router, router to your number one on this thing, and that's pretty much it. Now, once it, it is connected, you're going to see the green light, meaning that you are good to go. If it's yellow, that means you're running at 10 or 100 megabytes per second. So that means it's on. That's that's the where it's transmitting. So again, green on running at 10, 100 and 1000 off means no, no device is linked. So if there's no light, that means it's off. Flashing means it's transmitting and receiving data. Now, again, when if it's on the link account, now, if it is yellow, that means that's 10 or 100 running at. Flashing means it's transmitting or receiving data. So pretty easy, pretty simple to, to plug in. Now, I'm going to go ahead and connect this guy and see exactly what it is that we get. So I'm actually super excited about this. All right, so I've been able to test this one out. And um, man, everything worked really well. It's simple. Plug it in. And that's it. And you're hardwired. So would I recommend this one? This is an eight port. Yes, absolutely. Um, remember, you do lose one port when you go from router to the device. Um, so you're left with seven to hardwire either your PlayStation, your NVIDIA Shield, whatever it is that you got. This is what to use. So 
pretty nice stuff here so make sure you guys do check it out um again in the description below i always leave links for all this stuff for you guys to play with and yeah with all that being said you guys take care take care of each other see you guys in the next one take care guys <laughs>